All right, as folks are joining us, I'll welcome you back. I'm Firefighter Margaret Stewart with our Public Relations Office, and we're out with Task Force 27 this morning while they're doing company training, and we're bringing it to you live. So I will turn it around. We just did one operation where they raised the aerial ladder, threw some ground ladders, and now they're doing this on a different building because every building is different, using different ladders, getting the practice of you know, looking, saying, okay, now they realize this ladder is not gonna make it. It was close, but it's not gonna make it. So they'd have to do the 35, which is what they're bringing out. That's a 24 foot straight ladder. And now they're bringing the 35 foot extension ladder. So these are the kind of things you learn. You look at that and you think, oh yeah, the 24 might fit. But now they're learning it doesn't. So they're going to do the 35 foot extension ladder. These are the two firefighters. The tiller member and the top member. It will jump off the truck, throw the ground ladders while the AO is up top preparing to throw the aerial ladder. So now we have someone stepping in, getting some practice, throwing this ladder. So you can see he's extending it and he's going to swing it around and he'll lay it into that building. Good morning to everybody. At least it's morning here. We are in Hollywood. For those who weren't with us the first session, we're with Task Force 27, which is based in Hollywood. That's, as you can see right there, that is Hollywood Boulevard. So now they've got the 35 foot extension ladder. You can see that that ladder, we want three to four rungs over the top of the roof line. So you can see the difference. That ladder would not work. This ladder is acceptable. And the Captain 2, this is the Captain 2, Captain Sow, he's on the truck. For those that are asking, this is just a training on weekend mornings is our, we get dedicated training time to go out into the districts and do these operations. It's really important to be able to practice these. The whole crew, everybody has a job. And so they practice it so that it's nice and smooth. You can see how much work ha took place just in these couple of minutes. You know, we have the engine coming in. Good morning, Jeremiah. Asking if uh, any of these are new firefighters. We do have uh, one of the firefighters, this one right here. This is what we call his third house on probation. So he's coming to the end of his probationary year. The rest, uh, we have some younger, uh, but the rest are off probation. We're gonna come around and we'll come around and catch the other side. So this is truck 27 here. See the outriggers is what stabilizes the truck so that it doesn't flip when you have the aerial up. There you go. So there's a shot of the aerial thrown into the building. If, if you haven't heard, we use the term throwing ladders as the vernacular for, for putting a ladder into place. They're taking what we would take on a fire. So those rubbish hooks, we call that a roof kit. It's got this, the chainsaws and here we have another 35 foot extension ladder being thrown. Uh, asking about ride-alongs. No, we, our stations right now are not open to the public due to the pandemic, which is why we're really trying to bring this to you live so you can get a feel for it. On the 9th of May, we invite you to please join us. We're gonna have a virtual fire service day. So we have a lot planned for you that morning on the 9th. Uh, we got a question about how many firefighters are on the truck. The truck has six plus the engine is four, so the task force has 10, and then plus the rescues. So there's 14 here right now. All right, we're gonna see if we can go get the captain to have a little talk with us this morning. So the crews are talking about the building, how they would do their operation. Let's see if we can get the captain here. All right, this is Captain Sow. If you got a minute, you can tell us what they're doing here this morning. Sure. Uh, this morning we're going out, we're training, and uh, what we're doing is simulating a structure fire. And as part of the truck operation, 
uh, what we do is we ventilate the building. So in order to do that, we need to ladder the building. We need to provide proper access to the building, determine the type of roof, and uh, then go up there and cut the adequate ventilation hole for the type of fire that uh, we're encountering. Uh, fundamentally, uh, as part of our, our probationary members' trainings, um, one of the things that they need to learn uh, is their laddering skills, and that's laddering to a to different types of buildings, to different scenarios. As you can see, we have fire escapes. We have uh, here we have a, a tall one-story uh, commercial. Uh, we when we learn to ladder, we uh, avoid any type of openings where a fire could extend out and impinge upon the ladder or endanger the members climbing. In addition to that, the apparatus operator will place the aerial ladder in a position for us to access the roof of the building. And uh, then once this is complete, we'll ascend the aerial ladder and we'll proceed to our evaluating the roof and uh, proceed with our cutting operation. Thanks for that, Captain. And we do have a couple questions about why they're not in their full turnouts with breathers. We'll let you know there is a heat advisory today. So we'll, while we're doing this training that's physically draining to try to ensure that everyone stays hydrated and ready because they could get a call out at any moment, we're doing with lighter gear what we call brush jackets and helmets only to help reduce that so that they're not um, as worn physically. But typically this kind of training would be done um, in full gear, weather permitting. So got questions about, let's see, looking for our questions here as the crews are talking. Got one of the firefighters just practicing on another ladder. Obviously not all these ladders would be used at a regular incident because they wouldn't reach, uh, but this is just a good chance to practice, get some, get some reps in throwing the ladders. All right, so we have some questions about uh, uh, why don't we go out of service for training? Sometimes we will get what we call not available time, and a company is covering our district for training, but we can't. We have 106 fire stations, so we can't always do that. So that's on a rotating schedule. Otherwise, they'll go out and do some training, and if they get a call, just pick up and go get to the call. All right. We're going to sign off on this segment while they're picking up the gear and getting ready for the next section of training. We still have plenty more coming for you this morning. So we hope you tune in, maybe 10, 15 minutes or so until the next round. So until then, be safe, and we'll see you soon on the next Live with LAFD.